Hey, everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show, powered by Soundcraft Studios. Visit online at soundcraftstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Soundcraft Studios is the answer. Soundcraft Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1 800 303 3960. That's 1 800 303 3960. Or email to support at soundcraftstudios.com. Mention Mike Widener Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has gotten great reviews in Eve Levin and George by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Casti, Forge Riley, and Manilis. So grab your copy today for Ghost Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com on over 40 podcast platforms heard in over 100 countries, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple Music, and also heard on HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, Oldies Radio, and a few networks coming soon. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, tote bags, hoodies, baseball gear, and more. Makes great gift 24 7. Make sure you go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia for great books like Missing, Once, and Wrinkles. Also, cool merchandise like t shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, phone cases, and more. Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Check it out today. I'll support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, the Mike Widener Show.com. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com at the Mike Widener Show. Make sure you do so today. We're here with the terrific gentleman who's back by popular demand. He's a singer, songwriter, born in France and based in New York City. Also an accomplished actor with Semi Weiss. Also um, Angels and D- D- Demons and uh, Syrian as well, too. And uh, we had him on the show talking about uh, Look Up Botticelli as a single. As he's looking to get in the uh, singing. And, of course, the... Um, Record has gotten a lot of uh, good airplay, and he's been on Spotify, YouTube, SoundCloud, and all the streaming platforms as well, too. A second to the next level with Being on the Rocks is a new release and be featuring We Are What We Are and more. And a quick update live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in beautiful downtown New York City. Back by popular man, the singer, songwriter, born in France, based in New York City, and also the very multi talented actor with On the Rocks, ladies and gentlemen, back by popular demand. Fritz Michelle. Fritz, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us once again. I'm glad to be here, Mike. Thanks. That's a very kind introduction. Well, it's great to have you on back as well, too. So you're a singer-songwriter born in France and based in New York City. You're also an accomplished actor with Samuel Weiss, Angels and Demons, and Syrian and more as well, too. We talked about uh, Look Out Botticelli, and you also had talked about um, – how you got into acting, your venture from going from France to New York City. And um, you also have a new album, On the Rocks, as well, too. We'll talk about that. And before getting all that, once again, Fred, That's right. again, again, quick, very quickly, tell us how I got started. Well, uh, how I got started. I was born. Um, well, I was born <laughs> in uh, France a uh, long time ago. Um, but it seems like yesterday. And, uh, you know, grew up bilingual. And uh, that's something I'm exploring on this new uh, EP of mine. I, I've got one song, interesting enough, that I, that I uh, kind of pl- uh, plucked from my childhood. And it's a, uh, it's a, um, a cover of Siffle sur la Socoline, which is a, which a huge hit in France when I was growing up. My parents played it on repeat on the car stereo. And all these years later, I decided it would be a creative and instructive challenge to sing in French found that the Tremolos, a uh, late 60s British invasion band, had also covered it in uh, English as Suddenly You Love Me. And weirdly enough, this Zai, 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 Zai has been done in at least 15 different mm-hmm. which, But this was all a long time. excited to re-record my own spin on it. And that's one of the um, five songs that are on this new record of mine, along with uh, four original compositions. Mm-hmm. You also had uh, Look Out Botticelli as well, too, so and, uh, and of course, talk about that along with some right. other works. Yeah, and um, and and that uh, made the charts uh, pretty well, too. Yes, for sure. And, um, 
you know, all of these songs, you know, I just kind of continued. I put out last year, I put out uh, three or four songs and then decided it would be interesting to to write some new songs and put, uh, you, you know, I was always curious as to, well, what's the difference between putting out singles and putting out a, a record per se? And uh, especially in this streaming era, or as you're, you know, you're very eloquent, it's a whole different ball game out there. Um, I thought it was interesting as an artist to to put a, a, a group of songs together that kind of told my own story. And that's what I'm trying to do here with this EP. So, oh, it's got um, On the Rocks, King of Corona, We Are What We Are, and uh, the two versions we have together in, uh, in a group. And hmm. I think it okay. tells my story as a singer-songwriter and uh, expands my horizons musically. I've worked with a some different producers on it, some different musicians, and um, that's the kind of the joy of being uh, being uh, in the in the creative business like this. And I feel more than fortunate that people think like to hear this stuff. Mm -hmm. And we'll certainly talk more about your album on the rocks as well, too. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the MikeWidenerShow dot com, powered by Soundweb Studios. Visit online at soundquabstudios dot com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking a budget. Soundquab Studios is the answer. Soundquab Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today one eight hundred three zero three three nine six zero. That's one eight hundred three zero three three nine six zero. Or email to support at soundquabstudios dot com. Mention the Mike Widener Show get twenty percent off your first project. Soundquab Studios take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor, the Mike Widener Show, international war ring author Mia Molsonzia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molsonzia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molsonzia has garnered great reviews in Eve 11 and George by Howard's celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and Manelis. So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Mia Molsonzia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com on over 40 podcast platforms, heard in over 100 countries, also on HamiltonRadio.net, Oldies FM, Diamonds Radio, and a few networks coming soon. Take the Mike Widener Show on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molsonzia for great books, merchandise, and more. I'll support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, themikewidenershow.com. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com at the Mike Widener Show. Make sure you do so today. We're here with singer-songwriter born in France, based in New York City, backed by a popular demand. First, Michelle here on the Mike Widener Show and um, your new release, On the Rocks, featuring We Are What We Are. And, um, you know, what, what was the story behind with uh, On the Rocks and you want to get this out there? And, of course, come up with the title, On the Rocks. Okay, Fritz, you're there. Uh, the, the title on the rocks? Well, the yes. title on the rocks. Yeah, no, I'm there. Can you hear me? I can uh, hear you, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I feel like my Wi-Fi is just dropping out here for a second. Okay, great. I'm just going to actually move to a slightly better spot, I think. Um, who we're asking. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Yeah, you, you can just keep moving around here and uh, tell us about your story being on the rocks. Okay. Okay, uh, great. Well, on the rocks uh, came about, like I said, it's a... Uh, I'm putting a, this was a kind of more, instead of releasing singles, I decided to put out a record with a, with a, that felt thematically that I connect, could connect the dots really and tell uh, uh, a story with five songs that kind of intersected and intertwined together. I think that's the goal of any artist is to try to, uh, you know, take your experience and then hopefully turn it into something that listeners can relate to because uh, ultimately it's uh, that's a dialogue that goes both ways you know reader mm -hmm. writer uh, painter viewer musician audience so so that's what i'm trying to do with these five songs here okay you also have that song we are what we are also suddenly yes. you love me you also talked about the song in french as well king of corona and also um and also title track as well too and um you know tell us about those uh four songs and what inspired to write those sure will um well, i'm glad to i'm glad you gave me the opportunity to talk about it we uh we are what we are i think it's uh, particularly interesting it's a uh it's a song uh well i'll say a, it's a kind of a jazzy tune and uh kind of speaks to i used to i used to play in jazz bands as a as a bass player and um 
you know, I, I think I originally felt the, uh, the strong structure from a, from an old jazz song and then um, try to put words to that melody. And uh, it's it, that all, and it also touches on my background as a uh, movie and, and theater actor. Um, so, so that's where I'm going with, with that story. It's a story about really the people you meet along the way, which is as a, as a person in life and, and as a musician, I've always found that I've been most informed by the people that I've met. And um, going along with that song, I also made a video, uh, which is a modern day riff on the river Wizard of Oz, which you can see on YouTube, which also was somewhat inspired by my, my family story. My grandmother was a collector of, of uh, America's children literature and had uh, some original um, artifacts related to the Wizard of Oz. And when we were coming up with the concept for the video, I shared them with the director. It turned out his wife was a huge fan of the Wizard of Oz and wow. she directed all the choreography. So the the video turns out as a as it as it were, because it goes fits with the song, is a modern day riff on the Wizard of Oz. You have the lion and the tin human and the scarecrow, and I'm in green makeup as the wizard, and mm -hmm. you have Dorothy's red shoes in there, but we filmed it in New Jersey in February, but looked a little bit like Kansas. And that's where, you know, I think again, these stories intersect and intertwine. And that's the most interesting connection I'm looking for as a as an artist is, is to uh, connect your own story to to your creative medium. Mm -hmm. and, and what else can you expect from me in uh, 2022 and beyond besides On the Rocks? Uh, besides On the Rocks, well, look, I'm looking forward to getting you back to performing live. I also have a couple of new videos to go along with these songs, but I would, uh, I would urge everyone to, uh, to go check out my uh, my music on on Spotify and iTunes and Pandora and wherever you we stream because uh, the five songs together really tell tell a, a story that's that's you know mine and uh, and I like songs that I like I try to write songs that I'd like to hear so uh, I think most listeners if they give me a go might like to hear it. Mm -hmm. and, and certainly do as well too and uh also any plans on putting out an all french album i guess that kind of just strikes my curiosity <laughs> yes that's a that's a that's an interesting thing um you know something yes absolutely i think it's one of the fascinating things about the modern world and i was i was born in france i grew up there speaking french i spoke french before i spoke english i went to all french schools through uh fourth grade and spoke French with my parents and English with my, or spoke English with my parents, French with my friends. So, and living in 2022, where where you really have this opportunity to connect with audiences everywhere, really gave me this idea, which I to to try to to, to sing and 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 create uh, music for for a different audience than just uh, an American audience. So that's where I'm going with this French music. Um, which has been really fun to dive back into because I've got to learn about the, the great French, uh, you know, singer songwriters and uh, rock and rollers of the period, the Jeanne Haïdé, the Jeux d'Assin, Claude François, uh, Gainsbourg, all of these people that, you know, who are you know, just an incredible part of the can musical canon. So it's, I feel very grateful to, for the opportunity to go kind of dig back into that and come back out of it with my own spin. Mm -hmm. And also, how about some of your movies? Where can we find all your movies at? Oh, gee. Uh, well, my movies are, uh, you know, I, I haven't done as many recently, but um, I know Angels and Demons was just on Netflix recently. And, uh, you know, I did Syriana, which was with uh, um, Jeffrey Wright, directed by Steve Gagan. And, uh, you know, I worked on ER when I was back in this. Is, I, I lived in L.A. for from 2001 to 2010. So I had a pretty extensive uh, career, but uh, plenty of, um, acting strange and you know which informs my music I, I played a lot of French character roles when I was there I was always playing a whether it was a French banker or a French waiter or you know I had a, a bit of a niche doing that so I thought as I came into it with singer songwriting why not see if that showbiz niche could extend the same way because it served me well as a uh, uh, in the performing arts side on the other side mm -hmm. and certainly do indeed and uh, once again where can we find uh, on the rocks app on the rocks this will be streaming on um on, you know it's on spotify it's on um itunes and deezer and title and amazon and google play and youtube music and all those places and you can also find out more about me at my website which is uh youngallies.com 
youngallies.com. Interesting. How'd you come yeah. up with that instead of your name? <laughs> exactly. Good question. Um, Young Allies is my production company with my colleague, Jim Barry, who directed the Look Out by Chelly Girl video. We've worked together. Um, we came up together back in the uh, NYU MFA film school program in the late 90s, and we were making uh, movies. And Young Allies is a, is a, is a uh, DC comic book property that has not been yet they made it into a major blockbuster, so I'm hanging on to the domain name. And uh, I thought it actually serves our enterprise well because we're still young and still allies. So that's young allies. That's certainly interesting, too. Looking forward to what you have, Fritz. We're here with uh, Fritz Michelle back thank with you. On the Rocks here on the Mike Wagner Show. Fritz, a very big thank you for your time. It's great catching up with you as well. And um, make sure you keep us up to date, keep in touch, and everything else here. Always fantastic. Once again, uh, tell us about your upcoming projects, what's your website, how do people contact, or can people perfect purchase or check out your your music well you can uh you can find me on instagram at fritz the cat nine you can look me up at facebook at uh, fritz michelle and you can find me on my website at youngallies.com that's uh young allies like the dc uh comic book superhero uh superheroes from the 1940s who were out to stop the world from uh evil domination so uh <laughs> bucky toro and the torch uh were the original young allies uh the young allies now are oop, 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 uh the young allies now are myself and the the people who i work with That's uh, so sheridan gavin price jim barry uh all the colleagues who i make music and videos with we certainly do. So once again, Fritz, a very big thank you for your time. You're always amazing. Looking forward to having it soon. Make sure you keep us up to date. Keep in touch. Love to have you back. We wish you all best. You definitely have a great future ahead of you. Great. Thanks so much, Mike.